Hello, when you open GeoGebra, you will get a screen like this. Uh, as I want to set up a GeoBoard, 9-pin GeoBoard, I need to set a few things right to start with. First of all, close the Algebra window because we just want the geometry. Next, look at Options, Labeling, and I want no new points, so none of my points will come with a label. Now I want to put on the grid so that I can set my geoboard up on a unit grid. At the moment I will leave the axes there so that I can see what I am doing. Now I'm going to make a regular polygon and we can make it here uh, like that. Four vertices and OK. That is not quite big enough for what we want, so we'll move it up a little bit there so that we can get that number of points. Now, as you can see from what I've just done, I can move the blue points, but I cannot move the black points, and that is a clue. I'm now going to set another regular polygon using the two black points which are not movable with four vertices and that will go there. Now what I want here is to be able to put in midpoints to get the points on my geoboard, midpoint or center, the midpoint of that line, 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 and then we can do the last one between those two points. So I have now set up my geoboard. What I want at this stage is to be able to remove the construction lines, because as you can see, if I move either of these blue points, the whole thing is going to go wrong. So looking here, at the last uh, pull-down menu, slow show height object. I can hide that object, I can hide that object, that object, and that object. If we go back to the arrow, everything has gone except my nine pins. Now, it's very useful to have your nine pins, and these are at uh, unit points around. They're not. They're not. I need to move it in. So let's go back to show height object. Show height objects and just unclick that one. And now I can move that one in. And there I have them at unit points. Go back to show height objects. And click that one, and it's disappeared. It would be useful now to remove the... No, first of all, I would like really to have a, a square around those points. So enlarging up and moving the graphics window, it would be very nice to have the square around it, which is a regular polygon, from there to there, and again four points. So there is that regular polygon, and if I go now for show height objects, I can remove that one and that one. Okay. And I now have my board. It would be useful now to remove the axes so they're not there. That looks like the board I want, but maybe I don't want these uh, spurs on. Maybe I also don't want those top two points. Well, I can get rid of those, clicking on them there, 
and they have disappeared as well. Now, if I don't like the uh, colour of that square, I can double click on it, object properties, and the object property of the third polygon, which is there, um, the show object, if I unclick that, it disappears, so click it, but the colour is, the opacity is at the moment um, there, and I can make the surround, if I wish, black, and that looks better. So there is my geoboard. At this point, it would be very sensible to save the geoboard uh, before doing any further work. And to do that, you go to File, Save, and we might call this geoboard. And we can save it in Documents and it will dot ddb saving it okay having got that it's now possible to use it to draw a polygon on it for instance i can draw this trapezium and if i don't like that trapezium I can just remove it with the yellow arrow or replace it again with the green arrow. And this is now a working board to use on your whiteboard. Okay.